Hi, Johnny. I'm just calling Willie Peter. Mr. the microphone this morning. And, uh, it's um, Thursday today, the 8th of February 2018. Yeah, I'll just Oh, Willie! Willie! Hello, Willie! How are you? That's good, that's good. You sound very excited with some good news. No, well, well you didn't see us uh, up with me. No, no, I didn't. I, I, uh, I was down the line. Oh, you didn't come to watch any, watch any law? No, no, huh? no. I, I thought every, everything would be under order, uh, like everything would go smoothly without me. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, uh, well, except, except King King and him came up and made a lot, lot of loud noise. Yeah, yeah. So it didn't happen on Titi Marai? Well, they came up to the top of Marai. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, um, uh, he was doing a little moan on the news about uh, not, not being at uh, Titi Marai. Yeah, they are really at the moment. It's, uh, it's looking like that um, from what I saw on the news. Oh, yes, yeah, yes. And uh, actually, the whole co co construct is, is. They'll die. They'll die. They'll fade into to, uh, history. Well, that's, what, that's the way I see it. I'm, I'm, I, I had an idea that, uh, that that's what was going to happen, but uh, it's Kingy's own fault anyway. Uh, not only he was, but he indirectly, yes. But uh, the, the committee and all the rest of the trust, they're going to be bloody hell. Well, uh, yeah, after, after they threw me off, that I've been banned from there. That's why I'm not there. Yeah, so, but that's coming from uh, uh, the Hayes and uh, and uh, the Browns. They actually manhandled me off the place. So that's why I, I, I felt uh, it, it wasn't right for me to go back there and and, and just leave things uh, like that. But, uh, yeah, hmm? beautiful time at the top now, right? Okay, so... What happened about the flag? We put it up. On the top? On the top. So, um, uh, and how is that going to work? How, 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 would they, would it still be up now or was it just... No, because the flag of the Whakameninga mm -hmm. is a naval flag. Yeah, that's right. It, it, it's well, come... Being a naval flag, it's not a land flag. All I, all I know is um, it's a British flag. No, 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 that's a, that's a naval one. And, and uh, that belongs on the ship. But we did put it up. Yeah. And then, uh, at, at, at two minutes to twelve. Mm -hmm. uh, in time to, to be rewarded with a 21 gun salute. Right. We all look lucky. Cool, right. Yes, sir. We turned it back on as soon as it was. It was yeah. Boom. 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 Yeah. Right. So that's good. That that's really, uh, that's really, uh, very clever. 
It it you know it's it's a it's a, it's a it's a historic thing. Oh yes. Moment. It's a historic moment because that's something that's never been done before. Not only with a twenty-one gun salute, we, we claim the twenty-one gun salute it was made for us because there was no other flag raised at that time. Okay, so you were there as the Fakaminia. Yes, sir. And 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 that what it was for. You for us put the karakia, karakia together for that. And, oh, oh yes. And, and, and the minister arrived on time, uh, uh, Riga Hei Hei. Yeah. And uh, then all the other Krakia was, was co-joined with, with uh, no EPR. Oh, hey? Yes, sir. Right, right. Um, so, what would happen now since that? How would it? How would it determine on paper? On uh, I mean, on documents to the government. To how would the government take it? We met with Andrew Little. Yeah. Uh, 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 on. Uh, He's the ambassador. Senate. Ambassador. Eh? We, we, yeah, he, he met with us uh, at the. Uh, well, he called us to meet him. Okay. Uh, and uh, that was on Saturday. Right. Okay. Yes, sir. Right. And yesterday. Yeah. Uh, uh, we thank Andrew Little for the uh, twenty for the, for the uh, naval ghost. Yeah. For the, the, ra the raising of the raising of our flag. Yes. 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 So okay. that yeah. So mm, that so means. We, and we did when we go down to Lakala. Yes, yes, I, 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 I saw that. Yeah, because that, that was a mechanism that needed to be done. Yeah. And, and we've been invited back for the 100 year. So how did um, Ratna, they would have been there obviously on Waitangi Day. They were. So how, how did they fit into the Whakamininga? How did it look? Did they, did they um, support it and, and go with it? They came up with a, uh, a, 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 a matter of their own, but then it was left down to T. Marai. Ah, yeah, T. T. Marai. Okay. I, I, I was there when they came in, but then I was called away. Okay. So, so that's, I didn't know the, the, the end of the corridor. So that's sounding like something that's fixed um, um, to go further than, than that now. Right. Which, which was received by the uh, emissary, uh, the Governor General's uh, secretary. Okay. We have also forwarded them uh, yesterday at Waitangi. Uh, at uh, Waitangi Day, we forwarded them the, the budget to run ourselves. Okay, so where's the money going to come from? Well, uh, they'll have to scratch the, the they had an emergency meeting on Monday because they could not respond to all our, our, our paperwork and, yeah. and they blown off the water. So that's something that I, I, I'm very much um, uh, interested in, in how the government how will take some time to digest it all because of it's, not, right. on, it's right. not on their books. That's right. So they're, they're liable. Put it that way. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. They, they, don't, know, they don't know which way to turn now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we will send them in another another week or so. Mm -hmm. the, the genesis or the, the genealogy yeah. of how they have deceived with, with deception uh, Maori people from years past. We yeah. will get, we'll get them back to Whakapapa to unwind their uh, mischievousness. So I heard what Jacinda said. To to, she said, the government is accountable to Maori. Well, she 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 it to us as sovereigns. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. So to come from the from the, the prime minister of this land to 
say sovereign, she realizes we are a nation to ourselves. Yes, so that's what I'm saying. It it doesn't appear on their books until now. That's right. And that's something that they're going to have to rewrite the history. That's right. Our budget of uh, such, such dollars, um, uh, it wasn't figures that are just kind of gone out of the wind. It was pro properly constructed. Yeah. Okay, but yeah. So who did the, the talking for the Whakaminia? Us. Like, like, um, uh, Bandi or Heruini or someone no, that was prominent. You, like, you like. must understand that when we went out to Whakatane, yeah. Bandi took on the portfolio of justice. Yeah, I, I, I saw that. I, I was there. Now, his business is not in the government. Yeah, yeah. That's native. That's that's different from. Uh, that's right. That's right. Hmm. Yeah. He, 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 and, he, and he best know that he really can't join in even with the conversations of the government. So, who? Uh, there was somebody come up from Fakato here, and he was up in Kaikohi and told me that Bundy uh, um, walked out of a meeting. I am not aware. That's what that's what he said to me, because he was there uh, on the fourth, I think I think it was, or the third, the third or the fourth, and he he just happened to be up in in Kaikai when uh, Morris and I were there. Oh well, the I'm only at home now. I know there is Jim Wickorton. What's that? The only fakato here I know is Jim Wickorton. Oh yeah. So did he have something to say? Was he? Part of the of the Fakabini or somewhere else. He was down at the bottom. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. We we went to Calvin Davis. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And um, uh, we were just about to finish, and he gave me gave me a call that they were getting arrested at the the Chief Marae. That's not good. Yeah, That's so not we showed up there in Porterhub and to try to sort the matters out with the will of the police. Yeah, that's not... And we went to some sort of, sort of arrangement. Yeah. But it was their town that the Andrew Little were rushed to, to, to meet us in half an hour's time. Right, right. So we couldn't quite settle the, the, that matter. Right. At that time, but the day after, it was all uh, the, 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 the workings of uh, Hine Fari. Okay, so that was would have been controversy. Of course. On that marae. Of course. As usual. As usual. As, as his, historic. Historic. Yeah. And, it, and, and it ended it ended their era. Uh, that, uh, that's what it looks like. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, that's great, Willie, because um, I, I, I would not know what's happened there because the, the news is not much. So I'm at home at the moment, I'm just heading back up to Hokia, um, up to uh, Taheke uh, today. I went down to get a truck for uh, uh, Morris, uh, a diesel truck at the same time I was down the line um, um, and doing some other things at Kohara Marae in, in uh, uh, Cambridge. That's 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 the chief, one of the uh, first chiefs there. I went and filmed it all there, and this is this is funny, Willie, that when I went into town to get some booster for the aerial for the uh, cell phone, I went around through Mount Eden, and blow me down, the flag is flying on top of the the. Mount Eden Borough Council building, the old one. The Yeah, it's flying high on top of the. That's the first county of the Auckland province back in 1820, 18, 1830. It's flying up on the top pole, right up top. I filmed the whole thing, videoed for quite some time uh, about that part of the new Auckland province. 
that's what that is. But, they, but I think that we, we got to be careful. I, I am told that there's, there's two flags. There is. There is. From the label, that's a Flaminina label flag and a Flaminina land flag. Yes, yeah, so there is two differences. There's the British side of uh, uh, King William and the chiefs, and then there's the Whakamininga, which is the modern day Maori. There's Maori and there's native uh, chief. The 13 chiefs is not the same as the 38 chiefs. The 38 chiefs is the Whakamininga. The 13 chiefs is the original contract with the British Navy. That's the one that's been hidden. That's the one I'm doing, is the 13 chiefs and the British Navy, not the New Zealand Navy. The Whakamininga here is the New Zealand Navy, the two navies, it's got two different stories. The New Zealand Navy is the Maori version. The uh, British Navy, the first Lord of the Sea, Philip Jones, Sir Philip Jones, is the British contract. That's the contract. The Whakamininga has no contract. That's the difference. One has got the money, the other one hasn't got the money. The Maori one hasn't got the money, the British one has got the money. That's why they've carted all the money off. That's the one I've been doing. Yes, and I hear that um, the uh, true, true treaty partner is the Mayor of London. That's, uh, that's correct. And that's the one that I've been following, that uh, of the Navy and the municipalities, the eight-point star. That's John Key's wearing and everybody else's. The Queen is wearing everyone but the right people. That's what the Native's supposed to be wearing. Not them. There's two sides of the eight-point star on that flag. You've got the Queen wearing it, that's the Maori version. Then you've got the King, nobody's wearing. That's the one I've claimed. Have you heard what the two HS do? Uh, not really, no. I've been down there, they'll be worried uh, about what I'm doing with Pohara Marai. That's my father-in-law, Mihinui's, that uh, put the history together for me. That uh, the big rock memorial beside the Marae and Tainui changed all of its history and lost uh, and, and, and hidden it. I've, I've pulled it out again. I've, I've, did, I've did big long videos, 51 videos, the day before yesterday. On Waitangi Day, I've videoed the whole of the rock in the Maunga Tauteri Mountain, where the British title is. The British title is there with that Tira Waikato Wharehere in Manukau. All of the whakapapa of the Ngāti Whātua and Ngāti, uh, uh, um, Ngāti Whātua is the Queen's whakapapa and her tribe. It's a bit like the ISIS of America, is an uh, invented tribe. So the Queen has her own whakapapa, and that's the one that's the Maori uh, comes under that crown, the, the, the Queen Victoria, Queen Elizabeth Crown Corporation's wealth. Okay, that's the Vic Queen. Are you off to England shortly? No, no, I'm, 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 I'm setting up the apostoly of all the documents I've ever done. I put out, pulled out 32 documents, took them to the lawyers, the uh, uh, notary that signs for the internal affairs and the foreign affairs. Now once they come back, they're still there now, that's taking a while to go through them, the documents. That's to say, I'm a surrogate King William IV, a surrogate King George IV, and a surrogate King William III, the creator of the pound note and the municipalities, eight point star, that's King William III. I'm claiming that title for the king who gave it to us in that flag. I'm selling the flag story of the British, why they gave it to us. They gave it, and I'm saying they gave it to certain chiefs to 
business, to, to create business, and no one's done that yet. No, no one's claimed the right to use that flag. That's why it's not legal. Churchfell always told me, John, you're wasting your time. It's not legal. You have to make it legal. That's what I've been doing, making it legal. Because it can't function without its mana back. Because the government took it for themselves into the 1835 Declaration of Independence. They did that in Wellington. That's where the Maori version of the Whakaminiga is. The government has got it. You have to get it back from the government. They know that. That's why they're guilty. That, that's why they, they're, they're falling at your knees. That's that contract. The contract is fine because it has the Queen Victoria Trust attached to it in billions. Yeah, it's it's I, there. I, I believe it won't be long that the government will call us to sit beside them, uh, sit opposite them. Well, that's how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to have a Maori in the courts on the other side of the... They legislated it all out. They'll have to legislate it all back in again. That's the, that's the trick. Yeah. They have to legislate all these things to put Maori... You know what? They are acting as if they are the Maori of their flag. That They are acting in a mirror image of Maori. They're acting in deception. In deception. Well, you can call every name under the sun. That's why they're called Pākehā. That's what that name was given it to them for, for that reason. That they were acting decisively or, or, or deceptively yeah. to yeah. pull the wool over the Maori's eyes. Because right. they say they are, they are in charge of the Maori yeah. and they're yeah. running a Maori so government. I've got a couple of things to do and, uh, and uh, yeah. What's that? Yeah, oh, th that's good. So uh, we'll hear back from you some, some more, but I'll let you know how I get on. Okay. Uh, okay? Bye. Thank you, Willie, for ringing. Bye. There, that's Willie. Sounding the bugle and letting me know what they did. They did quite well. In fact, they did very well to stamp the flag's authority the flag on the other side, the Queen side of the flag. That's their contract. I'm just telling him what he's entitled to. But the King's flag is overall around the world. That's the trick. One and the other contract. What has to happen is this. The Whakamininga has to go and make deals with the government because the government is running their business. They have to pay all the debts to the king because the king put them there in the first place. Not the queen, the king and his law, his jurisdiction of authority and constitutions was put together by kings and their parliaments. The Queen is only a temporary caretaker looking after the King's royal revenues. So whatever happened to the Queen Victoria Trust, they'll have to go and chase after because I've got a blanket right over it. It came out of the King's head, King William IV and King George IV and King William III, the emperors, is where I'm gone. So, good on you, Willie. Thank you for letting me know what happened, because I wasn't there. I'm saying that the team Marae offended me greatly. Offended me greatly. And ignored everything I ever did on that marae. That is why I didn't go there, because I got manhandled off the property. As a result, it has turned me around to complete what I had gone through for over 20 years there in Kingi, 
<clears throat> said to me this, John, my people have lost confidence in you. And that broke the camel's back. When he said that, it broke my heart. So, <clears throat> I was rescued by Morris Baker, Morris Lobo Baker. And so I'm doing my best to help him on his land. That's why I'm going back there to finish off what I had set up, his business, him and Mary Ann Baker, to follow through and to make sure they know business from this point of view of the flag of Britain. He has deed titles and you need deed titles to reverse the land back to you if you're on the whakapapa of that deed. There's plenty of deeds. So, unless they've got the history to go with it, it won't happen because they've all been settled in a Queen's contract. Not the King's contract, the Queen's contract. And that's what uh, I'm saying to Willie. Jacinda Ardern says, Maori have to hold the government, government to an account. What she was saying was, well, it's about time Maori had a level playing field. Where I'm coming from, a British point of view, is that if it wasn't for Britain, you wouldn't be there. You'd be under French or something else of jurisdiction in legal authority. So I'm doing the legal work behind the flag. But Willie says there's two sides to the flag. Correct. There's two sides to the flag. Maori side and a Maui crown side. The Maui is a memorial. Pohara Marae in the Waikato is the Punga Punga Marae of old days of Paramount Chief Tira Waikato Whare Here Here Manukau. My father-in-law, Peter Mehinui, gave me the history of that rock. I've never told anybody. And he's put his house right beside it. The mischievous Tainui, Iwi, trustees, shifted the house and put it at the back. to put it on blocks and charged the family. Well, I take offence to that. It was put there for a reason. It was put there for the Punga Punga Memorial Rock to that tribe, Moriori. I'm putting that history back. I made some videos, well, 51 videos, for that and other histories that go behind the British title deeds with Morris Lobo Baker and his ancestors in Hokianga, the first British to arrive here, set themselves up there in Firinaki, Rawini, uh, Mangu, in Taheke, with Taheke Morai being a central focus place and the little church house of Ratana at 3710. Taheke Horike Road. That's where I live when I go there. I'm in that church every day with some feeling of history of that land block that I'm there for to develop it and to restore that church back into its early days. 
100 years this year of the birth of T.W. Ratner happened there. That's got the flag inside it to the 1820s period to 1830s of those people living there and in the Wesley Church, Furinaki, and the Methodist Church at Mangungu. And <coughs> this church house history, I've got all of that. I've got all the Manukau history right through the country, including Chatham Islands. Moriori history right here, the title. I'm sitting on the title. If anybody can refute what I'm saying, in 1558 videos on YouTube, then I haven't seen it yet with what I'm just saying now about the flag. And Willie has his story from the Whakaminia. That's fine. They have to pursue their contract with the Queen. They have to do that with the government because the government is running a Maori government. It is sharing the same laws of Maori chiefs. The Maori story only started from 1945. That's the word Maori and Iwi belongs to the government crown. New Zealand crown, Australia crown, not the British crown, does not own anything Māori. Ask Māori where they got their title from, they say King William IV. Ask them this question, which Māori did they give the king give the title to for the land? and the flag. They go together because that's a contract. So ask the Maori, which chief, which chief, one chief, did the contract or did they all sign a contract with Britain or with the Queen or with the government in New Zealand? Which one? You have a Prime Minister? Who's the leader of the Whakaminia? 38 chiefs or 13 chiefs? Which one? You see, Willie says there's two sides. He's saying that's a Navy flag. I'm saying this. It's a dry land flag. That's why that ship is stuck fast on dry land. Now, he's saying it's a on-the-sea flag. You see what I mean? Can you see what I mean? I'm making this fact, cited evidence statement, that Willie is a trusted man at his word. He's telling me exactly how it is because he was in that Waitangi Marae when I opened it up as a native magistrate court. You see, he was there. King, he was there. And Hohepa, Ebia, he was there. So they witnessed the flag inside that marae as the highest court in the world, in that marae. And that's what I'm doing. It's native original title to Britain with the first chief of this country. Tira Waikato Whare Here Here Manukau. He signed a contract in Edinburgh, Magistrate Court, with William Cornwallis Simons. That's why it's Cornwallis at the Manukau Heads. Manukau, see the name Manukau? Manukau City, Manukau Heads. Manukau Marae at Waiuku. It was the Minihinex and their families that changed the name to Tahana Marae. You see? You see? That's what Maori did. Maori changed all the original titles. On my marae at home, it was called Marangairo Marae, for the Marangairo land blocks. 
of Uataha, chief of my Wano Moai people. I'm saying Moai because Tipito is on Google Map at East Cape on the land block. That's Tipito to Tipito East Island. Guess what? <coughs> <coughs> Punga Punga Marae at Pohara in Arapuni on the west side of the Waikato River at the base of Munga Totari Mountain, the Farenui or Marae is called Rangi Atea. East Island and Raiatea Island. That's my history right there with my father-in-law, Peter Mehinui, and his Moriori people, the Moriori Manukau tribes. It's got a big, long history of its own, and I can stand there and say it all day, whakapapa, all day, with the title and King George IV all day. King George IV and Te Re Waikato Whare Here Here Manukau signed a contract, a private contract, under that flag as a British private commercial trading bank contract. You see? Really? That's that contract of a king of that flag, not a Maori flag. It is not a Maori flag. It wasn't given to Maori because there was no such word in existence. They had native. Have a look at the deeds of the documents you might have, if you have documents that were first seized of for the New South Wales and New Zealand government. Have a look at them, because that's my trade. Land titles and conveyancing instruments of bank mortgaging and brokering. That's what I've done in the past, real estate. I can tell you all about that at the same time, in one breath. So unless you've got that deed, you're only sitting on the Crown New Zealand's titles. Fine, they are instruments. They are debt instruments now. That's why they've got a trillion dollars mortgage debt coming to every New Zealander. You're going to have to pay it because that's the way they operate. And unless the Whakaminia has a government of its own, it can't go and tell this government what to do. The government of Wellington has its own contract and I've accused them myself as a surrogate king of those three kings and those three paramount chiefs, Rewha Rewha Manukau, Hori Tikuri and Te Rewakato Whare Here Here Manukau. Surrogate for those three chiefs at 1823 the contract of King George IV and Te Rewakato Wharehe Manukau. Now Hongi Hika went to England with Te Rewakato at the same time, 1820, right? Between 1820 and 1830, King George IV was the reigning monarch, sovereign authority, <coughs> that struck up a deal, a sale and purchase agreement to sell the whole of New Zealand and Pacific Islands. One foul sweep of the pen to this one Te Rewaikato Whare Here Here Manukau from Pohara Marae, Pua Marae, that's what it's called. Its name Pohara means Pua. Well, it's Poop Punga Punga Marae says different. Right, that's Pita Mihinui's memorial stone. He put his house right next to it. 
Now the family's got the bill. It's over 20000 to shift it onto new foundations. I've done a check right over as a builder. It's square on. It hasn't moved an inch. I know Peter Mooningley was a carpenter. That timber stayed straight, perfect. The window shut perfect after it got shifted. So I'm going to restore it back to its original condition and better. And where the house was below that, bunga bunga, Marae Memorial Stone to Te Rawakato Whare Here Here Manukau, I'm putting a memorial building. Ah, house dedicated to that chief and his descendant, Refa Refa Manukau, of his Manukau Marae in Waiuku, Waiuku, south of the Manukau Harbour, and his north head of the Manukau Harbour, Oriori Pupanga Manukau Marae. There, up on top of the hill, looking over the whole of the area. That's where the tribe was, the biggest tribe in this country, the Moriori Manukau tribesmen. That's where the history lies with the British. I've got it. I have that. It was Ngāti Whātua, the Isis tribe created by the Queen and Māori, that fought against themselves. The main four tribes of Waikato, Te Arawa, Ngāpui and Aotea. Those four tribes were designed by Māori themselves and the Crown Corporation in Wellington <clears throat> in 1838, 1839 period, just before the Treaty of Waitangi, they switched Te Rā Waikato, Wharehere in Manukau's title and turned his name Tira Waikato into a woman for Ngāti Whātua tribes. That was constructed by Ngāti Whātua o Kaipara in Helensville, Awaroa, and constructed for the new province of Auckland. And so from that sprung this county borough of Eden, uh, uh, Mount Eden. The flag was flying on top of the building yesterday. In fact, it would have gone up on Waitangi Day. The flag of King William IV, Admiralty, Martial Law, <coughs> Commercial Trading Bank, private contract, military flag of the British Royal Navy was flying high on the building yesterday. So I did a long video for YouTube on it to add more weight, more legacy, more fact cited evidence to this flag. It's not a confederation of chiefs of the tribes of New Tirini as such. It's just a private contract between the captain on a ship and one native Moriori chief. There, the first inhabitants here. Now, unless you've got a story like that, you're going to find it hard getting through Westminster. You might get ahead here in the New Zealand government, but certainly not in the contract of the King that I represent. That flag and its eight point stars of municipalities. Māori can't explain that because they have no right in this contract of kings on this side. They're in the Queen's contract. That's where the fraud is. They're stuck in the fraud. And the bill and all the debts to the king on this side. 
they're flying the flag, two flags, one for the king and one for the queen. They're flying the Maori Whakamininga, Confederation of Chiefs, four tribes of Ngāti Whātua's flag on that side. That's the judgment debtors in a native magistrate court. In fact, this is what Willie's interpreting to me as a Whakamininga chief. Fine, I've got Morris Baker, he's a chief as well of the British deeds. He's holding on to ten deeds of ten big land lines. He's got his tupuna, Hori Tikuri, on it. No Maori talks about Hori Tikuri. None. None came to the meeting I put on for Hori Tikuri. And I videoed the whole thing and put it on YouTube as fact cited evidence that no one in the Maori Confederation of Chiefs, Whakaminia, came to that meeting and indulge in fully, a hundred percent, none. There was uh, oh, there was one other, I'm just trying to think of his name, but he was there. There was one foot on the Maori side and one foot on Kuri Tikuri side because of his wife. <coughs> that's Minhenik's side to that Tahana Marae in Waiuku, the name came from Taheke, right? You see, you follow the British story and it takes you to places, what I'm talking about. I've gone and backtracked on all the places that the mysterious Maoris changed the name to suit the Queen. And that's the issue I have here, Willie, is that you said this. The flag of the Whakamininga is a sea flag, a navy flag. So the 21-gun salute for the flag is a New Zealand navy, not a British navy, Willie. So Nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. I think you know what I mean. You have to look out for that contract of Queen and hold her accountable. And I'm looking out for the King's contract straight into Westminster. You can't go into Westminster without the keys. I'm holding the keys to Westminster. And that's what you said to me. When are you going to Westminster? I said, I'm preparing things legally because the flag has no legal in it until legal goes back in it. You'll go so far, that's what I'm saying, to the shoreline. That's it. The flag went around the world. That's what it was meant for. It wasn't meant for pandering around on the shoreline and domestically. It wasn't for that. King didn't give the flag to Maori. If he gave it to the Whakamininga, what has the Whakamininga done with it? What did they interpret it as being? You see? Now that's the part you'd have to explain in front of a court. And me. Because I'm standing for the King with the eight-point star. I got all the history of that. Willie, I've got all the history of that flag. In fact, I've got all the history of Britain behind the Bank of England Act of King William III, the Dutchman. You see, no one's talking about the king. No one is talking about the kings. And the king's story of why he gave it. And to who? What for? That's a different story. Mary tells a different story. You see, they've got the myth story of Scottish. The Scottish oath is myths are number one. 
whatever they think of long enough, they'll end up with. That's what it means. They have nothing to do with whakapapa. Nothing to do with it. It's all contract. So unless you know contracts, and you've got a track record on contracts and real estate and land titles, it's very difficult for you to interpret it on paper unless you've got the government to do it and made the government alter their documents and put yourselves in there as Maori. You're going to find yourself stuck in a contract of debt right through the world because that's where this is going. <coughs> the Waitaki Marae <coughs> is a debt machine. It is a debt machine. And I tell you, Willie, that flag is on dry land because the British put it there. Not Maori or the flag that you're flying is in the sea. So you, you have to go back in the sea. That's where I'm building at the moment with this flag on the sea from the land. Now that's what I'm saying here to you as the story I'm familiar with over a period of 20 years straight in the Confederation of Chiefs that they're doing for coming here, all this stuff is put aside straight to Britain. You have to stay in that era of debt. This is credit. The judgment creditor has no debt. The judgment debtor of Jacinda Ardern is full of debt. It's designed debt instrument. This is creditor instruments of bank notes, Moai pound note, King Tafio, Waikato, Chiefs, pound note. You see, I've picked the pound note up and their flag of British and start running with it with a big business plan. It started already on Morris Baker's land. He's upset a little bit with the Whakaminia, barking up the wrong tree, he's helped them a long period of time, take fish there and give them things. <coughs> he's a generous man, <coughs> even to me. He's a generous man. In fact, I swear that he is the same bakers or picker as my uncle, Bill Picker. Same looking, same temperament, same goal, and the same ideas as my uncle. Exactly a split image. I've got to get a photo and show it to him. I've tried to find one, but I don't know where all my photos have gone. Of Bill Pecker and Maggie. Luckily. <coughs> um, 